So in the series of learning programming in C, we have discussed theory about strings, like what is string, how to read a string, scanf, uh, how to use scanf function, getf function, printf and putf function, right. In this video, we will see a simple program like how to read a string and how to print a string. We will see practically, not on this whiteboard because we have discussed the syntax of uh, you know how to read a string, how to print a string that we have discussed in previous video. So in this video, I will show you the program on my laptop. Right, we will use both scanf and getf function, printf and putf function and I will show you everything like how you can use those functions in different different ways. So now let me create a file string first dot c right. Then we use header file ok main function. sorry and here first of all we declare a string suppose I am taking string as uh, name and here I am taking 30 characters right. So first thing here you can initialize uh, the string like I am writing a gen that is it and I want to print using printf, the format specifier is percentage s and you just have to provide here name of the string that is name and I guess that is it. Now we can run it and let us see what happens. It should print Jenny on screen, right, see it is printing Jenny, right and if here I am writing here Khatri, so let me just run this again. See it is printing Jenny Khatri because we are initializing here right so that is one way or you can initialize character by character right that is another way something like this like this but here we will provide explicitly what null character because a string would always be ended with a null character and let me just save it and run it. See it is printing Jenny right so I guess that is fine. Now we will initialize the string at runtime. I am not initializing here. I am just using printf function. Uh, sorry, scanf function, right? So at first it should ask enter name, right? And now I am using scanf format specifier and here we do not need to put any for loop and address of operators directly you can write down the name of the string because it is pointer to the first uh, uh, character of the string. So I am just uh, using scanf and then I am printing whatever I will enter I am just printing that thing. So I guess that is it. Now let me just run it again. See it is asking enter name and I am entering J E double N Y and see it is printing Jenny, right. Let me just run this again and here I want to print J E double N Y space Khatri. Now what output you will get? Only Jenny. See it is not taking Khatri, it is only printing Jenny because scan scanner will not consider this white space in string that we have discussed, right. If you want to take input both like this a complete line or you can say then we use what get s or second way is what you can use here what two percentage s like if I am using here percentage s name suppose I am f name I am taking two string obviously you have to take and last name right. So here also we use what care name f name and L name that is also suppose 30 right and here I am printing F name and last name. So here also what percentage S. So I think that is it. Let me run this. So it is asking enter name and I am entering Jenny space Khatri. Now it is printing Jenny Khatri but with no white space. Why? Because in this printf percentage s percentage s. So here you can if you write space if in printf you will you know just uh, write or press uh, space here then it will print 
something like this it will print with space right obviously we don't want this thing so that is why we use what get s i'm just you no know, uh, taking what back to this program 30 enter name and rather than scanf i'm just comment commenting this out both printf and scanf right and here now rather than scanf i am using get s and what is the syntax directly you pass the name of the string get name right and printf percentage s comma name directly you can print something like this right so now let me run this here i am entering suppose here jenny's lectures is best channel o c s i t printing the complete line jenny's lectures is the best channel for c s i t right because we are using get s so when when you press enter or the new line then only it will stop reading but here i have shown you uh, the problem the, the that uh, buffer overflow uh, problem we have discussed with both scanf and uh, get s see care name the size is only 30 30 character i mean we should enter 29 character and one null character at last that would be appended automatically right but here characters are obviously more than 30 here so but but still it is printing this thing still it is going to read the complete string it is not giving any error any warning or anything so i think we should not use this kind of thing we should not do this kind of thing that is why get s is very risky to use because it is going to allocate memory it is going to store this complete line beyond the allocated memory and maybe it can overwrite some critical program that is very helpful for your pc right so that is a buffer overflow problem i guess you got it both with scanf also will do this thing if you write here scanf right and without space if you write complete line journey lecture the best channel for csit like this without any space obviously that if you uh, you know press any space then uh, it will not read but without space if you write until you uh, you know press enter till then it will try it, it will try to read the complete line so that is buffer uh, overflow pro problem here so now see uh, we will uh, see now what printf and put s now here i am using put s and what's the syntax here just have to pass the name to put s i am using then you will get the difference okay so output should be three names it should print one is printf then two put s i am using so now let me save it and run it see it is asking enter name so i am entering here jenti khatri right with space and because we are using get s so let me just press enter here and see three times first jenti khatri then second and then third is in next line why so because first jenti khatri is output because of this printf next output because of this potes in the same line and potes is what potes will automatically add a new line at the end of the string while you are printing right means after printing the entire string the cursor would be in next line so the output of next potes would be would be next line i hope you got this point also right now next thing is if if you do something like this like i am printing here point uh, 5 only point 5 means i want only 5 characters first 5 characters of my name and next time printing printf 10.5 right yes field width also i am specifying here and that is name but i think better to use here what slash n and here also slash and then you will get it better all right now uh, let me just run this and here i am entering see first is jayn only five character because of this printf 
second print f 10 filled width and only 5 characters that is why that is and that is what it right uh, you know justified. So, this output and this is because of the potes. So, I hope you got this also right and if you want to take input using scanf one thing you can do with scanf something like this like if I am writing here percentage 5 s right and here I am passing name. So, now what output you will get see <coughs> I am entering Jayanti and without space Khatri right or maybe Jayanti only 7 characters we have right and I am pressing enter but still it is printing J Y N only 5 and see obviously this will print only 5 because we are using 0.5 in, in both the printer but Utes should print Jayanti but it is also printing J Y N Y so because we have specified in scanf percentage 5 s means it will read only 5 characters whatever you will enter after 5 characters it will not read. So, that limit you can set here in scanf this thing also you can do right one more thing what you can do in printf one more printf I am using here and percentage s and here I am specifying address of from index second name 2 means what output you should get here in this case see I just want to run this and I am writing here a one slash n. I am just commenting out this potes and potes I hope you got the working of this and this printf also and this printf also and in scanf or not scanf I will use get s rather than scanf right only one output I want here. So, now let me just run this and it should ask name that is Jayanti Khatri enter see what it is printing it is going to start printing from y because of we are providing address of name of 2 address of second index 0 1 2 right. So, it is not printing whatever in at 0th index uh, that is j at 1 index that is a at second in index it is y. So, address we are providing from y. So, uh, from y it is going to print and till what till it finds null character that is till khatri. I hope you got everything about get s can f and print f and put s right. So, that is it for this video now.